first of all, the uh, the winners of the Al 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 2014 Algerian Paper of the Year awards are going to receive these, uh, in my opinion, beautiful uh, plaques together with uh, certificates that will go to every uh, author uh, on the paper. Uh, so we're going to be shipping these over uh, to Algeria in the next coming days. Um, the next two things that we're going to do after these awards, we're going to produce a full report, um, just like we did last year, uh, about the, award ex uh, the awards experience. So the report is going to have uh, the details about the process, the details about the stats that we talked about earlier, uh, but also um, uh, other things like financial uh, aspects of uh, covering for this, uh, for this awards and whatnot. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to interview or invite the winners for exclusive interviews with Inspire magazine uh, and hopefully explore in more depth the details of their contributions uh, in their papers. And, and this means that hopefully we expose their work more, reach a wider audience, and we learn and discover something interesting that our colleagues in Algeria are doing. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, then there is the come Yusuf, tell us about the 2015 uh, awards, um, which is, uh, you know, this initiative is looking good, so we're going to continue to do so. And Yusuf will tell us about what's going to happen next uh, year. So uh, we've done the 2013, the first edition, the 2014. The number of nominations per paper is actually increasing, so we've got a 34% increase in number of nominations. What's also very impressive, as I highlighted initially, is that we got papers from 32 universities in, 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 in Algeria. So the aim is to keep, go, keep going again. For 2015, so the, uh, the nomination call will be open around early January 2000 and, uh, and, uh, and for 2015. And uh, what we try to do then, we'll just look at the papers published in 2014 and we consider them for next year's award. But we have a number of challenges. I don't know if you've got slides, uh, but it's coming up late. So, um, we received a lot of uh, comments and a lot of feedback from people asking us to cover social sciences, for example, to cover economics, okay? Because right now we're only looking at uh, chemistry, uh, pharmacy and medicine, physical sciences, computer science and engineering, uh, and biological sciences. And there's a lot of pressure on us, I have to say, from a lot of uh, academics in Al Jazeera to actually look uh, particularly social sciences and, uh, and the economics, for example. The, we initially thought we'll do that for the 2015 awards, but it looks unlikely right now. And this is simply because we don't have really the right expertise in our uh, awards committee actually to look after economics and, and, and social sciences. So we look for volunteers. If there are some volunteers with background in economics or social sciences who are willing to join us and to add a new discipline to the, to the, com to the awards for 2015, we're more than happy. So we, we welcome, we welcome any, anyone who comes to join us. And as I said, I always try to apologize because we did not exclude social science and economics because we think they are not important. It's actually the opposite. For me, I think they are probably the essence for me. You know, they need, they need to be in such an award. We need actually to, uh, to, to support those disciplines too. So we are happy to include them in 2015, providing that we've got the support some people to join us in the awards committee. We've got expertise to, to, to in, in those disciplines. Uh, as well as that, we, we find it quite a challenging when we get a lot of papers. For example, in physical sciences and engineering, we have 75 papers. And for us to go from 75 to the top five papers, we actually need to look quite a number of people to look at those 75 papers. And it's quite, um, it's quite hard to give it to one or two people, give them 75 papers and ask them to choose this, the, the, the top five. You know? uh, people have been uh, excellent for us, and this actually uh, gives me the opportunity to thank people who helped us for the shortlisting and reviewing because they've done a fantastic job. Some of them, they had to go through the 75 papers, for example, physical science and engineering, and choose the top five. And I really applaud them for that, as well as the other shortlisting. So anyone who's interested in shortlisting or reviewing, please get in touch with us. Uh, we are always looking for people to help. And you could do as much as you want to do. We are not going to tell you what to do. But if you say, we could, I could review 10 papers or shortlist 10 papers, just get in touch with us and that will be enough. Every little helps, okay? This motto is stolen from another company, but for this meeting, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, as I said, 2014 is pretty much done. The awards, we know who the winners are. We'll get in touch with them and we'll do what Usama uh, mentioned. Uh, we're looking forward to 2015. To the people who are here, to the people who are watching this uh, live stream, get ready your papers, publish a lot of papers, good papers in 2014 and submit them next year. We'll be looking forward to them. 
and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Uh, no, so the reviewers this year, actually, that's very good question. So the reviewers, uh, this year we had 22 different reviewers reviewing, uh, in depending on their discipline. Uh, they are not in Algeria. We don't, and as long, we, we actually prefer that they are not in Algeria to actually even, um, for a number of reasons, uh, and even to actually make it more, more uh, for example, this year we had, uh, we had reviewers from uh, California, from uh, one biotech company in California, we had someone from the University of St. Austin, Texas. We had uh, people from uh, United Arab Emirates. We had uh, people from Dundee. We had Cardiff. We had, uh, we had uh, London Metropolitan University here. So we're trying to make it a little bit more of international, even touch of flavor in terms of the, at the review in the stage. And initially, people might be a little bit apprehensive, thinking, oh, sending Algerian these type of papers to those high caliber reviewers, they might look, at the, look down on them. But you will be surprised. You go the feedback that comes back from them is really impressive. I mean, well, I'm going to take one minute longer, but I'll give you an example. One of the reviewers, he actually loved some of the chemistry papers. He reviewed the chemistry for us, and he sent an email. So he submitted his scores, but he sent an email to say the chemistry papers were really high, high standard. And he said he's going to use some of the some of the papers for his second year teaching of chemistry. He actually going to use some of the content. So uh, for the for the reviewer, want them to be from outside Algeria. Uh, preferably uh, people uh, at, at a senior level, okay? Because that way we know that the papers go through a very rigorous inter uh, review and process as well. And it's the same story for for all of them. So the twenty-two, included. yeah, all, all included. Yeah, we have we have. Uh, no, I'm just Okay, I'll be in touch with you before you get in touch with so us. Don't worry. We're going to be opening the call for uh, for viewers. It's probably more well, that that is true to an extent, but you know, for the short listing, for example, this year, our criteria is that every paper has to be either shortlisted by a minimum of three people, or reviewed by a minimum of three people. A paper that is not reviewed by a minimum of three people will not consider it. Uh, we're trying to give it a little bit of a quality and, and uh, we make it a little bit uh, robust, the whole process. So minimum of three. We, it's been, we had some cases where uh, people in physical science and engineering, uh, some of them are here, they had to go through 64 papers because we don't have more reviewers or people to do the short listing. And thankfully enough, they've done that for us, which we are very grateful for. Yeah. Okay. So, so before you get ready to leave, I have uh, just a few things to say. Um, so essentially, I think what we've um, oops, what we've uh, witnessed today is pretty much what anasr.org is trying to do, i.e., uh, bl building bridges between researchers in Algeria and in the UK. Um, um, and we try to do this in various ways. The Algerian Paper of the Year Award and today's event, these sort of uh, various different presentations, which are related to different disciplines uh, and so on, you know, push towards that in that in that direction. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you and everybody who, everyone who's uh, watching us how if you want if you if you um, uh, kind of your, your vision of what we should be done about Algerian science uh, aligns with with ours ie building a, a strong community what can you do how can you contribute these are just a few suggestions of what uh, can be done or what you can do right now you can join the network on our website become a member um, you can you know use that website give us suggestions of how we can improve um, uh, that website Inspire Magazine, where we're going to be publishing the uh, interviews, is also, uh, we think, is an important resource that you can use. It. Well, you can read it, but you can also write for it. Anybody is welcome to send us articles um, that we can publish. Uh, there are plans to, at the moment, this is only in English, and it's only online, but there are plans to hopefully uh, translate it into Arabic and maybe have some physical copies distributed in Algerian schools, for example. So Inspire Magazine is all about, uh, outreach is all about making science accessible to uh, everybody. Donations uh, is, is another thing that you can do. Uh, like I said, today's event, the awards, the, uh, the shipment, everything that you see here is sponsored by the community. Some of you have uh, already donated. There is a, rav, a raffle going on, so you can still uh, donate. So keep an eye if you wish to support us through donations, then please do so. Um, and finally, we're really open to uh, your suggestions. There's an email you can uh, get in touch with, but you can also get in touch with us through Facebook or LinkedIn or Google Plus, we are all 
on all those things. So info at annasr.org for any ideas or suggestions. We have a few things which we're going to be doing in the next six months or so. Uh, we're going to be spending some time on the website, uh, on uh, revamping it, making it look a bit nice and a bit more uh, usable. Um, so if you are into web development, particularly in, in Drupal and WordPress, we'd like to hear from you. Um, there's uh, three people on the editorial team of uh, Inspire magazine, but if, you, if you're into that, if you're into uh, editing articles or recruiting writers and following up with the process of producing uh, engaging articles, and please get in touch. Um, so get in touch to work with us in the magazine, but also we have a new section on the website. Uh, these are much shorter uh, uh, bursts of scientific and technological news that we do. Uh, this is anybody can do that on the website. Any member can can post news comments. So if you want to be part of this, please get in touch. <clears throat> now the experience today of doing this live broadcast, uh, which hopefully went well, uh, we're going to find out. It's looking all good at the moment. Gave us the idea that actually we can do uh, a webinars, open webinars uh, of Algerian experts, both inside and outside of Algeria, doing live lectures to uh, to um, a large audience. So this is something that we're going to be trying to implement. What we need is uh, volunteers to help us think through how we can implement this project, uh, volunteers to help uh, structure this this uh, this initiative and and uh, and lead it uh, if if they wish. Um, and finally, we also want to do more of these kind of face-to-face uh, -face events like today. So we want to organize more talks uh, and uh, networking events and so on. What we call unnustled org sessions. If you're interested to get involved to give a talk or you know someone who's um, you know uh, interesting to uh, listen to, then please um, get in touch and uh, give us your suggestions. So that's, that's kind of what's going to be happening with us for the next uh, six months or even a little bit more than that. Um, so I thank you again for coming uh, and I thank everybody who's been watching us uh, online. I think it, for me it's been a really exciting day uh, and a fantastic concretization of what we're trying to do with the NUSR. Hopefully with your support we can uh, keep going. So thank you again. Thank you.